assembly of a district member module. Top Launch Assembly Bottom Launch Assembly Apply the anti stage agent to thresh of both ends of the tie rod. Insert the tie rod into the bottom flange and fix it with nuts. Install the model to the base and fix it with half nuts. Install seals on the front and back of the deflector disc. Install two adjacent deflector discs by 180 degrees alternately. Install deflector discs and membranes with 10 pieces in a group. Install the assembled deflector disc group on the tie rod. There are 210 deflector discs and 209 pieces of membranes in total. And there is no membrane on the topmost deflector disc. Install the flange with seal bush on the topmost deflector disc. Brush the lip seals of the top and bottom flange with glycerin. Clean dirt from the inner surface of the membrane shell. Membrane shell installation. Disassembly of the distinct membrane module. Install the membrane module onto the base and fix it with half knots. Pull out the membrane shell. Wipe off any dirt remaining on the lip seals and the outer surface of the deflector disc group. Remove the full knot, tie rod spacer, and top flange with seal bush in sequence. Remove and inspect the top 3 to 5 deflector discs and membranes one by one. Remove and inspect the middle part of the deflector discs sequentially in groups of 10 pieces. Remove and inspect the bottom 35 pieces of membranes one by one. Disassemble the bottom flange. Finally remove the tie rod from the base, the half knot and the full knot. Water purification principle of the district member module. Real water is distributed into the membrane shell through the inlet. Water flows upwards through the channel between the outer surface of the deflector disc group and the membrane shell. Then, the water enters the first deflector disc through the edge channels of the top flange. The raw water enters the first deflector disc. Then, it flows through the slot which is in the center of the deflector disc to the next one. The special hydrodynamic design allows the fluid to form turbulence where it flows through the membrane surface under pressure and collides with the bump. This increases the formation rate and enhances the automatic cleaning function. The permit flow passes through the membrane and enters the permit channel by the inflow networking membrane. The pollutants in the raw water are intercepted by the membrane. Shown as a simplified sketch and not to scale. After the raw water filtration by the membrane, the permit flows into the permit collector along the inflow network. Then the permit is discharged from the permit outlet. The O-ring on the vector disk is to prevent raw water entering the permit route. 
The raw water flows along the gap between the membrane and the deflector disc to the next piece of membrane for further filtration. The raw water is eventually discharged through the concentrate outlet. Discharge of concentrate and permit.